So welcome everyone to this session of practice. It will be very similar to our previous session of practice, but we may be different, and so it could be very fresh and surprising. So take a good posture and take some time to settle into it and become aware of the stillness of your body. And you might have a sense of the bodies of others around you if you're practicing together, feeling that collective stillness and also the sense of um, cyber stillness. So release effort and rest in the stillness. Turning your mind towards hearing the silence. And connecting with the spaciousness of your mind and of your heart. And within your body, feel and imagine the presence of three channels of light. The central channel that begins below the navel, rises up through the center of the body and opens at the crown. Blue like a clear, cloudless sky. And the two side or secondary channels that connect below the navel and that rise up parallel on either side of the central channel. The red wisdom channel opening at the left nostril and the right method channel opening at the right nostril. As we do the nine breathings of purification, we'll bring our mind to the breath, like a horse riding that breath through the pathway first, through the left red channel, we inhale, bring our focus down to the junction, and exhale through the right white channel, clearing that channel of the tendencies toward aversion and the suffering that arises from that. So we'll do three breaths, blocking the right nostril, breathing in to the left red channel and breathing out through the white right channel.
And then we reverse, blocking the left nostril. We breathe in through the right white channel, which is now clear. Bring the focus down to the junction. And as we exhale through the left red channel, we release the seeds and tendencies of attachment and the suffering that is caused by attachment. Three breaths. And now finally inhaling through both nostrils, the breath comes down, both of the side channels simultaneously, joins at the junction. And as we exhale the breath, we breathe up through the central channel, clearing and releasing the seeds of ignorance, the tendency to disconnect and not recognize the nature of mind. So three breaths to clear the central channel. As your breath returns to normal, feel a sense of lightness and spaciousness in the center of your body, a quality of openness. And as you feel more open, the sky, the space around you, imagine to be a clear, open, boundless sky. And in that sky, the presence of Shenla Okar, white deity of light, peaceful, radiant and adorned with the 13 ornaments and radiating all the qualities that liberate uh, the suffering of the realms of existence. Quality particularly of warmth and compassion. And also feel the warmth that you have for all of your teachers and the lineage and these teachings. And as we sing together the Guru Yoga, feel the light rays that are streaming out in all directions for all beings that you also receive these rays as a support to recognize and to open in this practice and to liberate the suffering. Guru Yoga.
of great bliss, I pray to you, benevolent Root Mala. O precious one, grant me the blessings to recognize my own true nature as a Buddha. Feeling the support of the blessings of the lineage, the warmth of your connection to the teachings and your teachers, the warmth of the presence of fellow practitioners and the Saiba Sangha. This is the good time now to reflect on those uh, relationships that may be more troubled, in which we may have experienced conflict, we may have avoided or not um, allowed ourselves to be fully open and present, peaceful or kind. And so take, take time now and reflect on those places of difficulty. Also, we may know uh, people who are struggling and they are living in us in a, in a heavy way in a challenging way, and so we want to acknowledge that, bring that to awareness now, and be, come present with how that is experienced in your body, in your emotions, in your mind. As we sing Hong together three times from the heart of Shenla Okar, from this heart of wisdom and compassion, light radiates out, touching those places, those conditions and situations that are difficult, that carry suffering, and touching those beings with whom we are struggling, who may be suffering. And as the light touches, the beings and the places dissolve into light. And that light from all the locations and situations and objects 
that light dissolves into your body. As the solidity of the beings turns into light, transforms into light, that light comes into your consciousness. And so through this process, and we allow time for this, everything that appears outwardly solid and fixed or heavy, dark, is completely released, transformed into light. That light gathers into us. So everything is clear and open. So let's allow time for this process. Oh. Feel that the space surrounding you is completely clear and open. And you are filled with the light. And now we sound a strong pe, a sound of cutting, a sound that will cut our karmic conceptual pain identity that holds us to these people and places in a certain way that fixes us through our identity. So feel this pay as total, like a wisdom sword that allows release of that bondage, of that sense of boundary. And we allow our consciousness and our sense of being to expand beyond the bounds of this body, beyond the bounds of the room, building, township, city, state, country, continent, world realm, beyond any conceptual boundary, allow complete openness.
all the universes are within your experience of spaciousness. And as you are aware and connect with this unbounded spaciousness, that connection is alive and fresh and warm. And so with this quality of warmth, we now look again at these relationships and situations, looking with a wisdom eye, looking with warmth, this unbounded spaciousness allows us to see and experience Trust this. Perhaps we are able to see more clearly the suffering of others, their vulnerability or confusion. And now we will sing the seed syllables of the three sacred elements of fire and wind and water. And as we sing, we imagine and feel the power of these elements penetrating all of the causes and conditions, the seeds of the suffering of beings particularly those beings with whom we have this karmic connection and of the circumstances that hold or reflect this suffering. Feel that the lights of these elements penetrate and destroy the causes and conditions that hold the suffering and reveal the inherent spaciousness. So first with the seed 
Ram for the wisdom fire, imagining great firestorms. Wisdom fire. And next with Yang, great wind storms of wisdom wind penetrates and blows free any of the remaining causes and conditions in the places and of the beings. Yang. And finally, wisdom water, great floods wash over and completely purify all the beings, objects, and locations with the seed syllable, mom.
See all beings as pure vessels ready to receive the nectar of realization. And all places open and free of obscurations. Everything is revealed in its inherent purity. And as we sing now, ah, three times, ah, the seed syllable of primordial wisdom. From unbounded space, innumerable white ahs fill the space and descend like rain. And as the drops touch the beings, they are illuminated or transformed into beings of beauty and light, radiant with positive qualities, and all locations become locations of joy and benefit.
as we sing the mantra together, feel this mantra, its power to purify and liberate as great sounds of joy, the mantra continuing to support you to see with the wisdom eye deeply into the inherent purity of all those with whom you have struggled, all the situations, just feel them purified and now able to express great positive qualities. Thank you. 
Deeply rest in the dissolution of the mantra. Release completely any effort. Allow your visualization to dissolve into light and that light to dissolve into the unbounded mother space. And rest. 
Feel that you are held, supported in the arms of the mother, arms of light. We should feel through the power of our practice, our collective practice, that with the repetition of this mantra that karma obscuring many lifetimes may be purified as the sun melts the early morning frost. And so as we bring our hands together at the end of the practice to dedicate the merit, we pray that the power and blessings of this practice may help all sentient beings, particularly those with whom we have karmic uh, relationships, to realize the purity of their own natures and to attain liberation from suffering. So with that as our motivation, we'll sing together the prayer 
of dedication. First, I'd like to say it in English, and uh, please uh, feel free to say it in your own language at this time before we sing it together in Tibetan. All pure virtue done through the three doors, I dedicate to the welfare of all sentient beings of the three realms, having purified all afflictions and obscurations of the three poisons, may we swiftly achieve the complete Buddhahood of the three bodies. Thank you very much for joining this practice.